Hello and welcome back to Strategic Command World War 1 with the Blue Max mod. We're playing the historical 1914 Schlieffen plan and the Austro-Hungarian Conrad plan. Okay, we're going to continue this and see what we can do. Thus far we are uh, we've knocked Montenegro out. We are almost, almost have knocked out Serbia and Russia. Both Russia and France are on the verge of collapse. This being 1916, um, we're going to see if we can knock them out before America can join the fray. Hope you guys are enjoying my content. Uh, as I am enjoying playing this game and bringing it to you. Okay, we got an Ottoman fighter and um, sixth core. But again, we're not going to do anything with that. And we're going to come here and upgrade this to long range fighters. And. Well, we are going... Uh, I forgot to move those guys last turn. And this unit didn't die. Luckily, uh, we're going to try to knock the salient out here. Uh, I am going to... Hit these guys with the Zeppelins first. Counter them with our escorts. Red Baron. Ooh, we got three of them there. And they got nothing. Okay, recon bomber number one. Ooh. Um. Hmm. Hmm. Looks like they're gonna. Well, let's do it. We can always. Hopefully, we get one of them. And they miss. And they miss. Okay, well, let's hit him again. And nothing. Okay, we'll use the railway gun here. And that... Dropped their morale down pretty much. Um, well, let's see if we can do it again. And nothing. And it dropped them down by 3% the morale. Um, our artillery can't hit them. Well, let's see what we can do. Yeah, we're going to go ahead. Definitely going to attack there. E yeah. We'll leave those guys in reserve and we'll go ahead and switch the entrenchment around. And we'll move these guys up. Yeah, well. Yeah, we'll do that. Okay, we'll move. Uh, let me check. We'll see what the supply is there. Yep, yeah, we'll move it. We'll move our artillery down this way. We'll go ahead and reinforce these gents here to the max. Yeah, we'll leave it at nine. So I don't want to lose all that experience. Uh, these guys, okay, um, yeah, we'll leave them there. Well, let's see what the supply is here. It's eight, not too bad. I think what we're going to do is we're going to put those guys in the nine, and we need to rotate these troops out here for sure. We'll go ahead and max supply them, guys. Um, 
Yeah, they have six of ten shells. We're not going to attack again this turn. We are going to reinforce these gentlemen up to now. Uh, we'll leave them at nine. Um, yeah. Going to attack there. Very good. Yeah, we're definitely going to... They could actually move there. Um, hmm. Yeah, let's rotate these guys. And we're probably going to put this guy there. We're going to drop him back. And we're going to leave him there. Okay. And that'll about do it in the west here. We don't want to attack there or there. Well, we could, but I'm, I'm not going to do that. Okay, let's go back to our navy here. We have, we are upgrading our navy, and we will be uh, having the Battle of Jetland. It may be a bit behind in reality when it happened. Okay, we're definitely going to get this guy. He is an advanced sub. We're going to get him out into the ocean. Bring this guy back into port. Oh no. Um. Hmm. Nope, we're going to get him back into the Atlantic. And maybe if we get Past, back past that line then things get better that's what it looks like to me okay um yeah we're gonna move those guys yeah we're gonna continue to move those guys up we're gonna leave these guys here um yes that works for me Okay, the west front is pretty much done. Uh, any more subs here? Yes, we have one here. We're going to go ahead and reinforce these guys to the max. And uh, we're going to move here in the east. Um, Finland, oh yes, Finland joined the... Okay, we're going to spend 50 on that. Try to get Finland on our side. And we're going to go ahead and... Um, we need to get the sub out of here. Well. We're going to go attack this guy. Very good. He got two of them. And we're going to put this guy here. We're gonna send our light cruiser out. And they lost 450 national morale. Oh, we lost a guy there. Okay. We are going to continue. We're going to get this destroyer back into port. And... Hmm. Let's... Let's get these guys back. Back towards the um, back towards port, and I'm going to be looking for these damn submarines. Okay, it doesn't look like there's anything there, but we are going to be hunting these guys. I know they're somewhere around here. Okay, it doesn't look like there's anybody there. So what we're going to go ahead and do, we're going to get ready for an offensive maneuver on Riga. And I'm going to bring this ship here. 
And we're going to attack that detachment. And we're going to bring these guys back. Protect them with our light cruiser. Heavy cruiser. And our destroyer here. Okay. Well, I guess we could attack. No, no, we're not going to do that. Nope, 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 nope. Okay, we have a recon bomber here. We're going to go ahead and attack. And we got one with our magnificent bomber crews. We're going to go ahead and attack. And we're going to take this town. Hit him again. And one more time. Okay, I think that's good. I want to save my shells. What we're going to do is upgrade this detachment. Boom. Boom. And it's time to attack. And we take the city. I'm going to sit these guys here. Ooh. Um, okay. Hmm. We lost a guy, damn. All right, let's go ahead. Mm. Hmm. Well, let's not attack here, I guess. Um, we're gonna move these Marines back to Königsberg. They're gonna be our invasion force, and well, they already went. Hmm. I'm going to send these guys to recon ahead a little bit, and we're going to see if we can make a pocket here. Okay, well, almost. Um, hmm. Yeah. We'll just go ahead and attack there. Yeah, we'll attack again. And we're not going to do that. Um, we're going to move this guy here. We're going to move this unit up. And we're probably going to leave that detachment there to help defend. Okay, we're going to... Hmm, we need to send some troops into the Pripyat marshes. Let's go ahead and reinforce these guys to eight. Von Mackinson's bringing them up here. Um, we're going to entrench. And we're going to entrench. We're going to move this unit up. And we're going to leave them there. They're behind a river. Okay, we're going to scout ahead a little bit here. We're going to entrench. And we're going to bring this guy up. He is going to entrench. Okay. Cavalry here. We still can't upgrade. Um, hmm. Can entrench, we'll go ahead and do that. Uh, I'm gonna move these guys here so we can try to attack this unit. Okay, we have this unit here. Um, we're gonna move them through the Pripyat marshes. Why the hell not? Okay, we're gonna attack. Very good, very good. Um, again. And they have nothing there, so we, you know, we may be able to make it there. Very good. Australians are turning this around. 
And they're on the retreat. And we're gonna swap out forces. Gonna keep moving this unit down. That unit moving is moving up. Okay. And we're gonna cut these lines here. Okay, um. That is now our city. Okay, we're gonna move up the HQ. And this unit. Okay, there's nothing there. All right, well, we're gonna try to take a death the next turn. Don't know if that's gonna happen. I'm really worried about these sneaky, sneaky um, Romanians. Okay, unit here. Yeah, we'll attack this guy here. Um, hmm. Let's go ahead and upgrade this core to infantry weapons level one. And the same goes here. Okay. Um, yeah. And then we're gonna move this unit back up towards Romania. Attack it again. And hopefully we can knock. Yes! Okay, very good, very good. And... We're going to move our Ottoman troops there. We're going to entrench here and entrench here. Not going to move any forces closer. Okay, they can't move there. Okay, we're not going to attack. Um, yeah, we're going to sacrifice that, oh, okay, never mind, um, yeah, we'll use this German garrison there, okay, they have a unit there, we're going to move this unit down. And we're going to go ahead and upgrade this core. I want all my units to be upgraded here. Um, okay. Let's go ahead and reinforce these guys to nine. Uh, let's wait on that. Attack again. Still can't move those guys. Okay, we're gonna move our artillery to there. And we're gonna move our German counterparts there. Okay, this unit is going to probably guard there in case the Romanians attack. Let's check the supply situation. Okay, we're definitely going to move them there so they're closer for the recon bombing. Okay, we're going to leave this garrison unit there. And um, Okay, we're going to move 
No, I'm not going to move. Uh, we're going to leave those guys. Leave those guys. Yeah, I wish I could have moved there. Damn, damn, damn. Okay. Well, that works for me. We'll leave that as is. Okay, this sub. Um, enemy contact. We got a light cruiser here. Okay, well, let's set to hunt. And we're going to sink this guy. Okay, that is one less unit. And we're going to set the German guy there. This guy... We're going to do a little scouting here. Okay, doesn't look like they got anything there. So I'm going to move them back down the line here. And a little further on down here. Um, I'm almost certain... Well, they got this marine unit here. I'm almost certain they're not going to do a naval invasion, but eh, I don't trust it. And we need to move some of these units. Uh, we definitely need to get this. Well, let's go back to the eastern front here. Okay. This unit here. Um, hmm. Still not ready to attack. Um, let's move this unit up. Well... We're going to attack there, and then we're going to move them there. Attack. And he's going to sit back. Very good, and we're going to leave them there. We're going to drop these guys back down one. These guys. Um, going to leave them. Uh, we're going to leave that unit. Hindenburg, he can stay. Um, we're not going to move that unit. We're not going to attack there. And they are fortified, so let's entrench. Move the entrenchment value back there. Um, no, we are not going to attack, but we are going to entrench. And, oh man, I wish I could have moved that up. Okay, this unit here. We're going to get them on the rail line because we're going to deploy them towards the Romanian border. Okay, let's move over here. And let's check our units. We do have, for Austria-Hungary, we do have another artillery unit coming, which will play a part here. And we've captured some Italian towns. I want to capture Venice and Verona. But it is definitely going to be hard slogging through there. We may deploy these four garrison units off the line here. Well, at least two of them for sure. Okay, um... Hmm. These units need to swap out. Let's... Attack with that unit. We're going to withdraw these guys. We are going to attack again. Withdraw. And withdraw. Okay, we're going to move this unit up. We're going to flip the entrenchment values back that way. We're going to go ahead and reinforce this elite 
Mountaineer unit. And let's check the supply there. Ten. Yes. Okay. We're going to move our HQ. Hmm. We're going to leave them there for now. I'm going to move the Austrian Flying Circus to Trieste. And we need to knock this unit out here. And they can't entrench, but if they attack me, that's quite all right. Okay. Um, we're going to operate this unit to... to the Caucasus front, get those guys moving, move back towards Italy, and yeah, we need to wipe this unit out. Not now, though. We're going to definitely reinforce these guys to the max. We're going to slip this unit back, and we're going to move him up. Wait, 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 wait. Um, yeah, we'll move him there. And we can't... Um, yeah, these guys need to entrench. We're actually going to... Well, wait, 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 wait. Um, we're going to leave that unit there. Um, we are going to operate this unit towards the Romanian border. And I think that's all we can do here. We got pretty much everybody moved. We need to get down here. Okay. Um, yeah. Let's move this unit back up. They can't reinforce. But they can entrench. And we, yeah, we're cut. Well, we have supply coming. We're not totally cut off, but we do need to get. We need to get some. Let's get a new unit. This new unit here for Germany. Um, we're gonna put them here and Turkish fighters. Uh, we can we can deploy these guys here. Okay. Let's move to the Caucasian front. Um, hmm. Not going to attack, I guess. We'll let them continue to destroy themselves. Uh, we're going to entrench here. Um, Okay, we're going to rotate forces. And we're not going to attack. Okay. Um, hmm. I'm going to move this unit up. We're going to entrench, and we're going to try to get this unit there. Okay. We're definitely going to start marching this unit south. Um, we can reinforce these guys to the max. 
can't reinforce them. Okay. Not going to do anything there. Just a blocking detachment is what they're going to be. Okay. Hmm. Purchase. We're going to get some cores going here. 220 for 214. Yep, we're going to purchase that. And we're pretty much done moving. Oh, we gotta move these guys. That way we can move one of these cores out and move them where we need where need be. Okay, now here. Um Yep. I'm going to attack. And we're gonna rotate these guys. We're gonna rotate this troop there, reinforce here, and attack. And, um, we're gonna withdraw. Ottoman forces here, let's see. Um, Let's check the properties of the town. Party of City Barani. Mm -hmm. Okay, um. Yeah, let's do it. Okay, we're just gonna end, we're gonna end up losing in North Africa. <laughs> but that is okay. And so we're we're doing pretty good for the most part. We made some really really good gains. Um. We're definitely building up our navy strength. So we have 468 as Germany. What do we want to research here? We have naval warfare, naval weaponry coming, uh, mobility, because I'd like to get some motorized troops. Um, yeah, let's do AA defense. And let's do production technology. And that'll be good. Well, let's do... Let's do artillery weapons again. Okay, that's good. And we're going to purchase... What are we going to purchase as Germany? Hmm. Twelve turns... Let's let's get some maritime bombers. Leaves us with sixty-eight. Okay, in Austria, Hungary, we're gonna continue to produce. Well, we could get a rail gun and then upgrade that bad boy. Use it in. It's going to take us five turns. Core. Yeah, we're going to get a core. Oh, and we're going to go to war maps. I'm going to go to convoy map. And we're going to send... Let's do 10% of our GDP to Austria, Hungary. Okay. Let's close that and let's end the turn. And well, let's see. Yeah. 
let's do one more thing here. We're gonna drop their morale. Um, yeah. And readiness down. And it is dropping slowly but surely. And that is quite alright. And I think, yeah. Let's see. That's a mine there. I don't want to move towards that. Um, hmm. Yeah, let's go ahead and... Hmm. I want to move some... Let's do this. Let's... Uh, since this marine division is here, I don't want to move. Oh, hmm. Damn. We got a court. Yeah, let's go ahead and... Let's move this unit out. Um, let's reinforce this unit here. And... Okay, let's... Yeah. Let's go ahead and end the turn here. Let's let them go, and then we will end the... Okay, Tigger's Detention. Suffers attrition loss. We're probably going to end up losing this unit here. And we're probably going to have to move that court. Chief the General Staff of the Revolution in Russia and the setting up of a provisional government there opens up a new opportunity to weaken our opponent in the east. There is a Russian revolutionary in Switzerland called Lenin who could prove useful if we were to arrange for him to be sent to Russia, where he will be able to agitate in favor of the Bolshevik party. Would you like to authorize the payment of 25 MPPs to send Lenin to Russia in the hope that he will be able to provoke further disorder there? Let's check the notes. Or hot-headed revolutionaries who call for Russia to make peace. If this party were to gain support in Russia, then it can only weaken the nation's morale and their determination to continue the war against us. Germany's decision to send Lenin to Russia is in a SEAL train was perhaps one of the most decisive events of World War I. Not only did it lead to the Russian Revolution, but this in turn led to increased dis, uh, disaffection disaffection among many armies and the civilian populations at home. Ultimately, the success of the Bolsheviks in Russia was to contribute to Germany's own collapse in the autumn of 1918, so this is not a decision. We are going to do this because this is a historical playthrough. The Bolsheviks in Finland are going gaining strength and threat to overthrow the forces of law and order led by General Mannerheim, uh, who later becomes the chief uh, the commander-in-chief of all the Finnish forces during World War II. Major General von der Goltz therefore proposes to lead an expedition to Finland to assist Mannerheim's forces in battle against the Reds, but sending it will cost us 75 MPPs. With Mannerheim securely in control of Finland, we would then be able to commence trading with that country. Therefore, the economic benefit in the long run could outweigh the initial cost of the expedition. Would you like to authorize von der Goltz's expedition to Swinland? So, uh, Finland. Uh, von der Goltz Baltic Sea Division landed in Finland in April 1918 and swiftly captured Helsinki, driving out the revolutionary forces. The Germans then remained in Finland until the war ended. Without German intervention, it is probable that the whites would have struggled to overthrow the Finnish Bolsheviks. So the history of this country in the 20th century could have been dra radically different. Okay, yes, we're going to do this. General von der Goltz and Mannerheim defeat the Bolshevik forces in Finland. Well, this is a little early, but that's okay. And this is Von der Goltz. Okay. Well, the war is 
more and more increasingly. Development of infrastructure between Petrograd and Mermax nears completion. Hmm. Huh. Interesting. Uh, Melanese territorial militia mobilized. Melanese, I should say. Odessa. Obeshni Ob mobilized. Kiev. Obeshni mobilized. Obeshni, I reset. In Cyrillic, I do not know how to say it. Entente Raiders disturb Norway. They're just driving Norway into joining our party. Entente blockade north of Scotland and blockade of North Sea. Lord Kitchener dies when HMS uh, Hampshire is sunk. Yes, um, I believe it was a. Um, it was either a submarine or a uh, saboteur, a spy's bomb um, that was sent in, set in the lower hull of the ship, uh, detonated and or submarine sunk it. I can't remember which one it is. Jeremy Dillop's Infantry Warfare Level 3, so this means we will not be stopped. Okay, yeah, they're really impeding our convoy. It's not much, but it adds up over time. Um, 543 MPPs and 324 Austria Hungary and the Ottomans collect 225. Okay. Let's see what they do. Well, it looks like the Libyan Expeditionary Force is going to be crushed. There's no way we can send them reinforcements unless the Adriatic Fleet can break through, break out. I don't really want to lose my sea assets just yet. It is way too early for that. Okay, they're just moving detachments around now, trying to stop our advance. Looks like a mobilized detachment and a cavalry corps. Okay, I'd like to capture Riga. So we're gonna see if that's gonna be a deal here soon. Good, good, good. We have plenty of forces there that can reinforce that cavalry unit. You know, we need to upgrade them, bad boys. From 1914 to 1916 equipments to get them to Stalham 1916. Alright. We'll take Vilna and Minsk soon, I hope. Clear out the Pripyat marshes of them partisan. Oh, no, wait, that's the next war. <laughs> okay, yeah, we need to wipe that unit out. Okay. And I imagine we just got one more um, city to capture and we can knock Serbia out of the war once and for all. And like I've said before in a couple earlier, oh, by the way, I apologize for the previous episode uh, not having any... Um, game sound I don't know what happened there I uh, didn't even know it was muted until after the fact and um, interesting okay we need to take out we need to make a big push towards that cow or that artillery good 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 I wish we could get one more fighter unit, but I don't know if that's going to happen. And now, let's see, their artillery is going to attack us. Yes, it is. I 
Yeah. Holy shit, they got a lot of artillery. Holy shit. Yeah, this may be a unit that we lose. Holy shit, they got a lot of guns. Yeah, we need to definitely take one of those. I'm gonna, get, yeah. Might lose that, that unit. Very good, very good. Hold the line, guys, hold the line. Very good forces there. Yeah, it's over in Libya. Okay, that sucks. Yeah, I'm gonna pull that core out there and send them down. Okay, well, they're going to redirect those forces towards the Sinai. Not looking good, boys. Not looking good. Going to get some submarines on the British Convoy National Morale. We're going to help drop that down there. See if we can draw America in. And then knock the French out. Well, we'll try to knock the Russians out here. Pretty quick like. Looks like they completely moved out of the Pripyat marshes. But we won't know. Okay, they're moving that unit. It reinforce yeah, maybe I need to take that French town before. I don't know. Hmm. Well Basmashi revolt, Russian Muslims rise against the Tsar. Very good. Sweet. Maybe we'll get a, a unit inside Russia. That'd be cool. That'd be really cool. Central Powers, Raiders, Disrupt Egypt, Greece, and Canada convoys. Entente blockades, blah, blah, blah. And North Sea blockade. Former Chief of Staff, Helmut von Moltke, dies at the age 68. 
And Victor Chapman becomes the first U.S. pilot to die in the war. Uh, I believe he was flying for the French. Volunteer fighter pilot. And I believe we're going to go ahead and end the episode here. I'm trying to make these uh, uh, Mu Fiza core destroyed. Okay, they lose 20, 36, and 54 MPPs. And we get the Dreadnought Bairn and S159 torpedo boat. Okay, we're going to stop it here. And again, um, uh, yeah. I'm going to try to knock the French and Russians out at the same time. Don't know if that's going to happen. One of them is going to fall before too long. Uh, I am reinforcing my Romanian border. As you can see, they're up to 50%. So they're rising, rising, rising. And I can imagine if I get any close, much further into Russia, they're going to spring the trap on us. So, yes, stay tuned for further developments in the Great War. Okay, guys, that's the end of the episode. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys again soon. Bye now.